Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Um, look, just a really super quick video today and I'm going to be showing you how you can create dot paper, so bullet journal, bujo paper, um, using Inkscape. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Very, very quick tutorial today. Um, hopefully trying to keep it under 10, 15 minutes or so. I'm wanting to show you guys how to create the dot paper, the bullet journal paper um, that goes inside bullet journals um, using Inkscape. Really quick and easy method. I was looking for a, you know, like a free or like not expensive PNG um, or, you know, all rights usage uh, page to put inside a KDP bullet journal that I was creating. I couldn't find one, not in the size that I wanted, not in the quality that I wanted. There were plenty that were, you know, like just over the edge of the page, but I wanted a little bit of a border and I just couldn't get what I wanted. So today I am creating a, um, a six by nine page of bullet journal dot paper that has a, uh, a, you know, an area where there's no dots around the side and we're creating an Inkscape. It doesn't take very long at all. And the other thing I couldn't find was one that was, had the right distance with the dots. They were all like, you know, maybe five dots across the page and obviously had just been blown up and blown down by someone that didn't actually understand bullet journaling at all. And I was like, mm, yeah, no, that's not really what I want at all. But this is scalable, so you can choose whatever size you want and you can just input this stuff into, um, uh, into Inkscape. So it's a free program, Inkscape. If you don't know, I do talk about it a little bit on here, but um, we'll jump right in. Okay. Inkscape. Okay, so here we are. This is what we are going to be um, going to be creating. So a couple of the things that I needed this paper to be was I needed to have um, about seventy percent grey dots. I needed to have very small dots. Uh, I think they're. That's not my baby crying. I hope it's late at night. She should be good. Um, small dots, and I needed to have some sort of a border around the outside edge. Um, there are lots of other ways I could have done this. But I chose this because I wanted to have a play and see if I could do it. So here we go. So let's go to a new page. While well, it has to think. And we're going up to go, we're going, blah, 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 going to go up to document properties. And we're going to change this to inches. So we can, um, what did I say I was doing? Six by nine inches. Okay. And that should change our um, our page there for us. I'm going to use a plus button on the uh, keyboard there to zoom in, and I'm going to save as. <laughs> there we go, bullet journal, bullet um, journal for YouTube. I'll just save that because that's going to be a problem. Okay. All right, so here we are in Inkscape. And first thing we're going to do is create a, a dot, random dot, use the circle button over there. I've already um, set it here to 70% gray because it was the last thing that I was working on, so it is 70% gray. You just select your square, and we've got millimeters as our chosen um, thing at the top here. We're going to go 0 0.5 millimeters by 0 0.5 millimeters. You can do it also as like 0 0.2, but I kind of prefer the 0 0.5 of a millimeter. Um, uh, diameter with the with the squares um, and then we're going to use the steps function to push that over by um, five millimeters so actually first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in some um, uh, rough rough guidelines for our um, just some rulers we're going to move these around um, a little bit later on, so I'm actually really not too fussed on exactly where they're going to go. So just zoom in there and we're going to select our dot um, and uh, pop it there. And then we've got our dot and we're just going to move it horizontally by 0. Um, sorry, no, by 5 uh, millimeters uh, there. And so once it's selected, we just go Control D and apply. Control D and apply, Control D and apply. Um, you can select more and keep going like that, but I just do it this way. Less bother. Control D apply, Control D. Gets quicker when we do the lines. 
yeah it's probably going to be too many but that's okay and then what we're going to do is we are just going to copy you can just copy all those dots and you can control and duplicate them and instead of going horizontally by five millimeters we're going to go negative five and we're going to oopsie not negative five stupid five because it's going down stupid actually i'm going to need to reselect that otherwise it's going to put them on the one so there we go control d and down five and we can just do exactly um exactly the same thing i'm going down the page and then oh, okay, we'll roll it down just because we can the other thing you can do is you can select four rows and um, control D and put them down by 2.5 centimeters or 25 millimeters or whatever it is that you want to do as well so that is one um, to do that is one option um, like that. and D and apply no 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 okay. have to reselect okay and we can go all the way down the page doing it that way there are other ways you can do this but um, this is just a nice and easy way of doing it you can do this with the seamless pattern functions um, but then you don't have quite the border like play around so anyway you've got your page like this now obviously we're not going to want those ones up at the top so we're going to delete them um, delete them out of there now you can go into the align and distribute and you could send them all a little bit more that way and then if you wanted the whole lot to be um, moved over a little bit there as well transform button sorry there it is uh, remove your vertical otherwise you're going to move them all around as well so if you wanted to go over so zero point um, zero point one millimeter in each step um, and then you don't click control duplicate and then you just simply budget over a little bit that way or budget over a little bit the other way and now I am hopefully we can just remove those if that's what we wanted to do and again we could do that and we could center center that move that over if we wanted to budge that down just a little bit um, exactly the same thing applies so we remove the horizontal and then take that down 0 0.1 millimeters and click apply and we can just oh sorry once we've got make sure that's all selected which does seem to be and then just click apply all the way um, down to exactly where we want it on the page and you can set up those guidelines to exactly where you want um, them to be and obviously you've got all of that filled in um, or if you wanted to import like um, look say a picture okay so that's just me playing around with you know like patterns and stuff like that say we want to daily freebies now let's go into a full pod license one so we're all good so say we we're making a Christmas one it's just you know import like a, a PNG into there let's just you know bring that down in there or something like that say we wanted to do that you know and bring the dots down behind it which we could easily um, easily achieve then we're going to um, export that export the PNG image itself so we're going to go to page make sure we export the page because we've set this up to be the size that we need it so that's what we want to do um, we're exporting it at 300 dpi and we're going to export as now because it's Inkscape um, now where's my test 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 data tests oh is that still oh yeah that's right so we're just going to call this um dot test there we go and inkscape don't forget you have to do the double export so we're going to export that and we should now have our um png copy of our dot paper that we can upload you know using to kdp or anything like that um, it's really versatile so you can change the um change the dots around uh, change the color of them so if you wanted to change those um, to be uh, bright blue or red or um, you know a darker black or something like that uh, we can we can do that so if you just wanted to change some of them to be red you could also do that i'm not sure why you're going to do that but you could do that 
um, and if you wanted to for some reason you know like put some you know squares along things we could do that too um, what else could we what else could you do um, if you wanted to put in say another graphic up the top or page numbers or something like that you could do that as well um, import let's have a look um, art supplies say if you wanted to pull in like a um, you know, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a picture at the top um, you know, like, there we go you know you could do that let's get rid of that square um, you could do that as well or if you had like a little logo or something like that which I probably wouldn't do in a bullet journal but you know if you had something that you wanted to put in you could easily just put that in save it as a png and then you've got a png you could save it as a jpeg um and then to get that as a like a you know into a pdf then obviously you're going to have to go into another program to save that as um as a pdf and the way i would do that and i haven't got that organized here let me just duck into here which i have not done um I would go into Canva and in Canva you can create a design and I would create a custom size six by nine um, yeah sorry it just didn't click properly um, and then you can um, upload some media uh, from device there's lots of stuff that's in there. Let's go into the test file here. We're going to go into this dot test. Um, that's going to load into here. Okay. It's going to take a little minute for it to arrive. And then... Da -da -da. Okay, so we didn't put the borders quite where we needed them to be, but that's okay. Um, here you have your, um, your dot paper. Let's see dot paper ready to go it should be the correct size um, and we can print that out and we can measure that and make sure that that is um, 0.5 millimeter paper there done all right so here we are we've imported the thing and I've just gone up to here I put um, file you can show the rulers and file I've got there simply showing there as well you can see it's six by nine six by nine inches um, and if you want to do a test print, print that out um, just to check the, you know, the dot size or anything like that, you can do that. But you've set it in, um, set it in Escapes. So that should be right. And then as long as you've put this up to the full, you know, page, you should be all good with that. I've not had any problems. And of course, from here, the other thing you can do is you could pull across some, you know, like free stuff from Canva or whatever it is. Um, you know, you can do the positioning, center that, turn it up to the left, or whatever it is that you might um, might want to do on your on your page. And then um, this obviously gets printed as a um, PDF. Um, yeah, PDF. If that's what you want to do, there you go. PDF high qual uh, high quality um, print is what you're going to want to do. Um, you can also obviously save it as a PNG if that's what you need to do or um, a JPEG or however it is you want to size it, um, however you want to print it. So anyway, that's really easy. So very, very quickly, just going back over those steps, back into this, obviously we saved this before we put that in. Um, you create your square, um, create your page six by nine, get your dot, put your dot in as 0.5 millimeters. You can change that up, change that down, do what you like with it. Set it as 70% gray, that's generally a fairly good one. Um, put some a rough margin in for that and then go into your transform buttons using your vertical and horizontal transform making sure you've got your millimeters correctly control D and apply control D apply control D apply and then select it control D and apply to wherever it is you want to get it up and down um, fill up your page or not fill up your page as um, as it might be don't accidentally push the minus button when you're in here otherwise nothing happens and you create a mess um, put that obviously all the way um, down the page and you can select all of that move it around as you need to move it all around or if you needed to change the color in any way that's easy enough to do uh, like that you can pull in some images either here in Inkscape or um, export and export so export as and export um, out as a PNG and then you can go into Canva and you have some 
bullet journal paper ready to use on your KDP printing. All right, so anyway, thanks for that. Excuse the mess in here. Like, I'm in the process of trying to fix costumes for the dance teacher for a dance concert that's tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday and all of that. So it's a little bit messy in here. But what can I say? Um, any questions, let me know. Um, there's lots of other ways you can do that, by the way. Um, certainly through the more expensive programs, which I don't have. Um, and there's certainly more ways in Inkscape. Um, if you know, have another way and you want to put it in the comments, go ahead. I mean, you could do a seamless pattern. Um, and there's plenty of other ways of doing that. But this is just a nice, easy way that you can select and move things around. And it doesn't take too long. And obviously, um, once you've done one page, you don't do that for all the rest of them. You pull it over into Canva and just duplicate the page. And you don't need to do that for, you know, um, every every page or anything like that. So you just have to make your one. And then if you've got a template and then you want to add, you know, different stuff onto it, then you can just save your template and then, you know, put your stuff on that you want to put on it and save it um, as, a, as a copy. Anyway, nice and easy. Thanks for watching and um, hope to see you next time.